Good morning, Horse Whispering Gambler back to you again, the day after the Belmont Stakes. How's everyone doing today? It's a beautiful day outside again. Hope everyone is having a nice, enjoyable weekend. We had a nice Saturday, we had a nice day yesterday, so let's recap a few horses. I've tipped up four horses here yesterday on this channel. Two, one, and two came into places. So let's go back on our first one. Elite Power, very strong looking horse. He got the seven timer up yesterday. This horse is very progressive, very smart looking horse, let me tell you. And it was a nice ride as well. So that was Elite Power. Then we had Emmanuel, big prize, monster bet yesterday, 8 2 1. Emmanuel for Irad Ortiz, who won very nicely. I knew this horse was going to go places. Strip Bitter from, Keen, uh, from Pimlico. So I knew it was going to win yesterday, and I had a good bet in it yesterday. Beat a 2-5 to five favorite yesterday. So that was a nice one yesterday. I got a nice price on that horse, nice bet in that horse. So then we moved on to um, uh, was Ottoman Fleet. Uh, that, that grade is a small bit too high for him at the moment. So he'll need a rest. He'll come back and might, uh, might be better off having a little rest and uh, re-energize. And uh, you might see a different kind of horse, but looked at a tired horse yesterday. And then we had Tapper Trice. I've watched this race like 10, 12 times. And I keep seeing he made, a, he made a run down the back straight. He ran very well down the back straight. He moved on. And then uh, slowed up. Went widest of all. Lost a lot of ground. A lot of ground here. And then when the race was kind of over, he, he went again. His head was all over the place. So he's a very green horse. Still babyish like. And I think a set of headgear or something. Blinkers or something might change him up a small bit. But Lewis Seas did all he could do. He it was a slow pace starting off. National Treasure controlled it. Uh, Lewis Seas pumped him from the start. Broke badly again. Let me tell you, broke out last. Pumped him down the back straight. He moved up a couple of places, and then on turning for home, he was the widest of all. And just as Forte came to him, he got a second win and went. His head went down. He kind of the race was over at this point, so he kind of knew the the head was gone in him. So. He could, he could do it with a set of head, headgear, blinkers, I believe. He's very still babyish, still green, to be honest. I think there's so much more left in this horse, and he's not showing it, which is very disappointing from my aspect, because I really love this horse. So moving on today, we've got a quiet day today. We've got uh, three tips for you today. we got two in Belmont, one in Monmouth Park. Touching on the race, two in Belmont. We have a horse here, closing act for Steve Asmussen and Irad here. This horse won a nice race in Churchill last time. And will go very well today. But made a lot of traffic. Shouldn't have really won with so much traffic, but came out. So if he progressed a small bit, you're going to see a nice performance. This two-year-old's card looks a very nice race today. A lot of two-year-olds with a lot of progressive statements to make today. Belmont, I have uh, number one here in race nine, Vitamin. This horse has changed stables since. It's gone from Jan Hancock into Eddie Keneally's yard and I believe we'll do a nice business today a nice value bet here and uh, against the favourite I think he'll give the favourite all to think about today then Marmore Park race 8 the horse here picking time Jose Gomez for Kelly Breen here looks a very nice horse and ran a race last time against the horse that won again speaking this speaking horse is a very strong horse down in Monmore Park. So this horse came fourth last time and I upgrade this race because I think it's a very smart race. This, So I think picking time in race eight, Monmore Park will do the business today. Uh, still not a favorite. So value bets here all day today. We have a few dollars to play around from yesterday. So I hope everyone has a good Sunday. Enjoy your day and we'll see you back here next weekend. Be good, be nice and be happy all day long. God bless you all.